<laughs> so the reggae boys were good, very good in some moments, playing against some of the best teams in the region. And they did it without several key players, including infamous man at the moment, Leon Bailey. Now what this is saying at the possible chagrin of Bailey, who says he's the man in the team. What these performances are saying is that the reggae boys are beginning to play as a full professional and cohesive unit, willing to fight and perform professionally. A team that, importantly, is not dependent on any one or two players. That is an absolute positive for the team going forward into the big assignments later this year, including World Cup qualifying. No, we're not saying Jamaica should get rid of Leon Bailey and never select him again. But instead, we hope that Bailey himself will learn and understand that the team is not about any one individual, including him. If up to this point, this reggae boys team was all about depending on Leon Bailey and his performances for Jamaica, then you know that the proverbial dog would be yamming our supper. Right now. <laughs>